Well, it's a special day for the Taylors. Saturday in Madison, teammates Jonathan Taylor and A.J. Taylor, no relation as you're likely aware, did have performances that bore an uncanny resemblance to one another. Jonathan Taylor, career high for carries and rushing yards. A.J. Taylor, career high in receiving yards as the Badgers pounded New Mexico. A.J. Taylor joining us now from our studio in Madison. A.J., looking back on this game against New Mexico, what about the matchup particularly favored you? Um, looking back on the game, I just think that I was a little bit more, um, I think I brought more of a competitive edge to myself. Um, I wouldn't knock them at all. Like, they, they were competitors. They did their thing. But I just felt like I was just a little bit more focused today, uh, that day. What was it that made you more focused? Like, how do you kind of, what do you put a finger on where you say, hey, that was different? Yeah, uh, despite other games, you know, these past two games, I've really been just uh, staying in the moment, uh, really taking time to embrace where I'm at and what I'm doing. Uh, shoot, the day before the game, I just, it just came to me that I'm actually playing college football. <laughs> So it's really just being in the moment and just taking it one play at a time. This wide receiver crew has been depleted by suspensions. How has that changed your role on the team? Um, it definitely made means uh, that I had to step up and I had to be a leader. Um, I had always been a, a leader, but it was more by example. So uh, now it's more I have to be a vocal leader, also lead by example and just, you know, show the young guys, you know, the, the way to go. Good start to the year here through the first two games for Alex Hornibrook. Where have you seen the most growth in his game? Uh, I think the most growth, it really comes with just uh, him being comfortable, him being comfortable in the, the tough positions, even if we get behind a little bit, uh, him just still having the poise and the readiness to keep playing, and uh, even if we get behind the sticks, to just keep going forward and, moving the ball and just help the team play uh, play well together. You know, so many people have pointed to this team, A.J., as one that could potentially make the college football playoff. From an offensive point of view, what do you think your team needs to do to get to that point? From an offensive point of view, we definitely need to be able to come together more as a team. Uh, we've been playing as a team right now, but I think we could always, that there's always room for improvement to just play for each other, uh, play with each other, and also just get to, to know each other better. I think that really helps you know, a team become successful. We talked about a record-setting day for you on Saturday, a record-setting day for Jonathan Taylor as well. When you look at his game and, and just how dominant he can be, what stands out the most to you as a teammate? As a teammate, it just makes you want to play hard for him. When, uh, when we see JT uh, igniting the, uh, the offense like that, it just makes, I mean, me personally, it makes me want to just keep, you know, blocking and, and keep just going hard for him to just see how far he can go. Um, at the same time for the team, I think it also ignites the team as well and makes us want to play even harder too, even when we, see, when we see him doing great things. If there were any questions coming into this season about this team, they were about the defense. You go up against that group every day in practice. What have you seen from them so far this year? I, they're all going to work hard. I mean, even if they you know, may get beat in practice or something may happen, they're, they're listening to their coaches and they're going to come back the next play ready to, ready to go. Uh, and our defense, they... We can't, like, again, you can't knock them. They're all competitors. They're all young. They're all ready to go, and they're hungry. So um, they're going to bring it. AJ, I noticed your major is personal finance. What is the best piece of investment advice that you can give to our viewers? <laughs> uh, whew, that's the hardest question here. <laughs> okay. Um, the best uh, piece of investment advice is... I'd say the biggest thing is uh, just save your money. Um, no, matter, no matter how big it gets, save it. I guess you probably could have known that, but sometimes the easiest things are the hardest. All right, A.J. Taylor, thanks a lot for your time. Best of luck this week against BYU, and we'll jot Thank that you. one down for future reference.
Thanks, AJ. Yes, sir.